Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Wet and Wet Flow and today we're going to learn how to create a custom input within your Webflow project that allows your user to change the text on your website. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, so today we're going to learn how to create this interaction where text is added or removed from a phrase within our Webflow project. And this was initially uh, created or provided as a tutorial on superhigh.com. Definitely check it out. Uh, the link will be in the description below. And today we're going to first talk about the structure of our Webflow project to create this interaction. And then we're going to briefly talk about the custom code added into the project. All right, so as you see in our Webflow project, we're going to create a slider input here. And then we're going to have our section, our text section right above that our phrase is added to. Let's jump into our Webflow project. All right, so the structure of this particular project includes just the body. There was uh, some, some style add to the body in regards to the uh, color and the font size, but the main uh, styling was done for the section that contains our content and custom code, as well as the copy. So first we add our section, which has flex styling added to it to uh, center our text and to have our input at the bottom. And then we add a color to the background and we change the uh, font color. Then we add our copy, uh, which also has a flex styling added to it to center the text. And then within that is the actual phrase itself. And then what is most important within our project is the input. So you'll see here the input has a range uh, type added to it and it has a, a value of zero. So this value is so that the uh, slider begins, always begins at the input or value of zero. And then we have a max value of six, as you can see here. And so this determines how many different uh, elements or changes are going to occur for our text. Alrighty, so we briefly talked about the structure of our Webflow project. Now let's jump in to the custom code. Alrighty, so we are in our custom code tab within our projects. And as we scroll down, we'll find that the script tag or the script that is added to this Webflow project is not very much at all. So what you'll find is the uh, variable named phrases. And this is where we will enter in the different texts uh, that we want to have show up. This is more or less a list of the different texts that we are going to uh, append or rather show in our element. So the first one that I want to show is create, and then I want to build on the sentence, or you can completely replace the sentence with the next uh, item within your list. What I wanted to do is create a list that looks like it builds upon itself. So these are my six, seven entries here, the first and then the six after that. Then the custom code that is uh, below that is the actual interaction itself. So on input, uh, we are going to have these phrases uh, replace the uh, phrase class within our Webflow project. So it's very, very cool and easy to understand. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments section below. Uh, but outside of that, let's have a proper goodbye. Pretty 
Cool. So today we learned how to structure our website for this particular interaction and we also learned uh, some of the ins and outs of the custom code. Hopefully this was helpful and if you have any questions feel free to reach out and leave your comments in the comment section below. You'll also find within the description a link to the original tutorial as well as a link to the clonable project. Thanks again and see y'all next week.